to wrap this up, um, you I pulled you we pulled you guys for some questions, and one of the top questions we got was which which um which collagen source is the best, bovine or marine? Um, mm -hmm. It does seem like that we have that one peptide study that seems to show that marine is better than their pork version of it, but there's nothing that directly compares, say, bovine mm. versus marine and whatnot. And I will say, like, the animal source of it doesn't quite matter. It seems mm -hmm. like all of research indicates more of the sourcing quality and the actual amino acid profile, how consistent they mm -hmm. are with it. So I would say, again, the clinical evidence speaks more than just the sourcing. Some other fun ones that you guys asked about is, uh, will it make lasered off hair grow back? Eh, probably not. No one's really looked, yeah. but it doesn't yep. make sense that it would have a huge effect. Although I, there, I should mention, I believe it is Verisol that also did do a um, hair growth study. Mm -hmm. No, not hair growth, hair thickening study. And um, I think that one they actually ran for 16 weeks um, mm -hmm. and did find like some sort of th more on the thickness, but not like in terms of hair growing back or anything like that. So, yeah, especially so. with laser hair removal, the idea is that the follicle is dead, dead. And um, the idea with col collagen supporting hair growth is, like Victoria mentions, more general hair follicle health, therefore thickening and you feel like your hair is stronger and longer. But if the hair follicle is already dead per laser, then it probably won't revive it. Last but not least, um, outside of collagen, we also got a lot of general questions about collagen adjacent things, like other oral supplements that claim mm. to support collagen health, like mm. hyaluronic acid. I saw questions oh. on oral resveratrol, and then ah. now people are claiming NAD. Ah. I'm just going to say, I did look into all this on a more surface level, since this episode is more on collagen. I will say that whole thing is a circus. The newer, the buzzier, the worse the data is. So I think the latest train is like, is the NAD supporting one. Those are super new. There's like not really any solid evidence of anything. Um, oral antioxidants like resveratrol and actually pycnogenol is one of those buzzy antioxidants that's looked at very specifically as an oral supplement. They can help your general skin health. I wouldn't call it like collagen support because there's not a lot of data in mm -hmm. those departments. And then last but not least, oral HA, topical HA works perfectly fine. <laughs> um, you will see it as part of a lot of collagen um, powders formulas. Mm. Does it add a lot to it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's it. Yeah. It's your questions answered. <laughs> yeah. So to sum up, um, all right. If you, we, we should mention that in the realm of U.S. collagen products, very few will, one, disclose where their collagen sourcing comes from, yeah. and two, share any good clinical data. I, a key word is good. I mean, a lot yeah. of them will say like, oh, does this, but with an asterisk and, but with very little detail on how any of that um, claim is substantiated. Mm -hmm. But the good news is, Vital Proteins actually now does share where their uh, collagen source comes from, and they actually do use Verisol. So that's actually a relief. There is mm -hmm. one of them out there that we could find. And for those of you that also um, use collagen supplements, please let us know if you feel like there is a brand that's worthy of sharing to help other ones looking in this space. And, and to sum up, we just want to remind everyone Make sure that if you do decide to look into this and decide to try it out for yourself, make sure you give it enough time. And definitely um, consistency is so key here. I cannot begin to tell you like you will mm -hmm. not. It's already if you look at the clinical data we shared, look at how long they had subjects use it for and then look at the results. Most of them, you're like, I think I might have seen something. And that's with dedicated you know, routines. Um, so that's why we would just want to remind people, just make sure you are giving it enough time before yeah. really seeing if there's any result or not. Yeah, and I think the other aspect of it too is uh, my personal experience with these things, and I have tried a couple brands, is going back off of what Victoria is saying with consistency is don't lie to yourself about how you feel about the taste. <laughs> 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 I have tried 
many collagen drinks that、mm. the data looks decent. I'm not looking at it as like a miracle, but I'm like, you know what? It's good enough for me to think of it as support. But as I'm drinking it, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> do I? Well, I drink that every day. No, it took me like <laughs> three months to finish a one month supply, and、yeah. then what does that really do? I don't really know. In terms、yeah. of the powders, I've tried. I've actually tried quite a few different brands that's popular in the U.S.、Mm. Usually, when it's on sale at Costco, <laughs> <laughs> of the powders, I actually do like the Vital Protein one just because it's the most tasteless one.、Mm-hmm. I hate the ones that make your because for me the easiest thing if I were to be consistent with, consistent with it is to add it to coffee. But、mm. the ones that give your coffee a faintly like sense of beef, taste, <laughs> yeah, like just a hint、beef、of、essence? meat. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> that's my take on、uh, my experience on collagen still of myself.、Yeah. I, I will I say there was one time I gave in and tried the chocolate flavor one. I don't know why I did that. It was so it was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. Why? I was, like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I drink it with coffee. It's like having a mocha. It is not like having a mocha, guys. <laughs> it's like beefy mocha. It was not good. <laughs> <laughs> Beefy mocha is not a word pairing I thought I would hear today, but yeah, yeah. But 